Hello. During the next seven minutes or so, you're going to learn all there is to know about robotics and the future of the robot. Why huge investment is being injected into the industry and how perhaps you one day may have a robot of your own. Well, a man who's interested in all this is Christian Champo, who is the CEO of Trust Valor and he joins me in the studio today. Christian, welcome into the studio. Thank you. Now, um, Robots uh, and robotics have always interested me, uh, ever since the films of uh, Batteries Not Included to the Terminator uh, movies. But um, you believe this is all going to happen a lot sooner than we think, um, uh, with the use of uh, robots in the workplace um, actually taking over from humans. Just in a sort of brief summary before we get into a little bit more detail, uh, and I ask you some specific questions. Um, how do you see the robot uh, affecting the world as we know it? Well, I believe that the robots are here to stay and to be developed more and more into complex machines. And this will have a profound effect on the business world, on the financial world, on the investment world, and also on our social order. Because robots will more and more replace humans in tasks and this will change the way the business is done. Now, we'll come on to the idea of cyborg traders in a moment. Um, just want to show you a quick graph we've got here. Um, this shows the industrial robots per 10,000 manufacturing workers in a variety of countries around the world. You mentioned there in, in your answer a little bit about the idea of uh, robots taking over from humans. We've already seen a large proportion of robots in the manufacturing world. Um, is this going to increase? Yes, it's going to go increase dramatically and you'll have entire industry sector which will have only robots manufacturing things. And that, that will have, a, again, a profound change into the way people are looking at robots and investment and actually one of the fastest growing sector in the world is robotic. And as an investment, I would suggest that the one invests in companies producing robots, on company using robots. And it's understandable that when you look at this graph, I mean, Japan is streaming ahead. Yeah. Uh, do you think that perhaps a country like Japan could be the leader in that respect, could become a country of robots? Probably in 50, 60 years, we're not going to have human uh, Japanese anymore, but robotic Japanese. <laughs> it's, it's fascinating. Um, let's, let's go to, to the idea of, 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 of traders uh, here and, and cyborg traders. Um, could the idea of the cyborg trader have an advantage over uh, a 100% you know, organic human trader trading in, say, gold or a currency like uh, the euro dollar, for instance? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, we will have cyborgs. A cyborg is a living organism that has technology implanted like a, a chip or anything. I believe 20 years from now we're going to have humans wirelessly con connected to the internet, to the entire li library, to the market. And they will be able to take decisions so much faster and so much more accurately than a human being, that the human being will just disappear in that, that sense. That's cheating, isn't it, Christian? A cheating, uh, you could qualify it as cheating, but we are already cheating. I mean, they are already, I mean, today in 14, 80% of the total volume at the New York Stock Exchange is done by robots, by computers. And a computer is a robot. Mm -hmm. And so the ability to create software that is more and more complex will raise, will increase. And I believe that robots with AGI, the artificial general intelligence, which is a, a way that they will be able to create their own code, their own software, will be here within 
much sooner than we expect. And becoming self-aware from, from what that sounds like. They might like. become self-aware. Uh, uh, just as you mentioned there, the idea of, 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 the, of the public, uh, uh, something that does exist today uh, as far as consumers is concerned, are concerned is the 3D printer, which is very much a robot. Um, uh, just how revolutionary is this device? And do you think it can end up meaning, um, w you know, that w we don't need to buy anything anymore? Absolutely. We, we just this, make it. Yes. This is probably the deepest revolution that we are contemplating. Because ultimately, everybody will have a 3D printer at home and the cost will be going so much down as the printer that you and I, we have attached to our computer at home. And whatever you need, you aren't going to order it anymore from a supplier. It doesn't have to be delivered anymore. You will create it at home. But that would have huge, huge ramifications for businesses around Absolutely. the world. Surely. Absolutely. I mean, you, the, the there would be huge uh, companies disappearing, simply. I mean, I'm talking about robotic cars, for instance. I mean, how many people know that there are already three states in the U.S. which have licensed robotic car for public roads, which are Nevada, California, and Florida? So in other words, and Volvo, for instance, is building robotic trucks. Think when, when we have only robotic trucks, we will need the army of drivers. And if we have robotic cars, and robotic cars will be on our public roads, we don't have accidents anymore. Or at least, you know, the, in the US alone, there are six million collisions a year and five million cars that have to be replaced. Well, they won't have to be replaced anymore. And the billion dollar in, insurance in industry will, 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 will be very, very, very small because we don't have any fatal accidents anymore. I, sp so, I suppose the interesting thing as well for, for, for my side of things is that it's just like you have citizen journalists or you have YouTube for people to put their own videos on. Essentially, people will be able to create their own businesses because they'll be making exactly. you know, three 3Ds. Um, Christian, that is, is fascinating. I, 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 we're running out of time a little bit. I want to come on to the last question, which for me is really, really interesting. And actually, uh, we've been talking about this prior to the interview. Um, do you think we're destined to become uh, more robotic uh, until the point where we can't tell the difference between what is human and what is robot? The answer, in my opinion, is a resounding yes. Why? Because human being is, will want to have the best possible of both worlds. So if, for instance, my heart is faltering and I can have an artificial heart replaced, why shouldn't I use it if I can afford it? And we're going to have also a two-tier society because all this is going to be affordable only to people having the means to purchase all these things. So yes, we're going to have the human race being slowly but surely replaced by a cyborg race, <laughs> which means that you know 90% of our organic material is going to be replaced by by electronics. It sounds fascinating. And I think if you haven't seen The Island with Ewan McGregor in, you should watch that because okay, that's very much <laughs> about that idea. Christian, uh, it's a topic we could talk about for ages. It's an interesting, interesting topic so sure. of investment as well. Thank you for coming into the studio today You're and talking very to us. <laughs> um, that's all we've got time for on Duca's Copy TV at the moment. Of course, keep heading back to our website. We'll be bringing you further interviews and updates. But for now, it's goodbye from me. Bye bye.